Well, I done messed up. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Got my truck stuck. This is as embarrassing as I'll get out. I was headed to a lunch meeting, drove off road. My buddy said, go check out some of this property back over here. So I did. Yeah, the back right of the truck is touching the ground pretty much. Yeah. And you can see the mud basically stacked up to the tire. Oh, man. I was fine coming through here, went down there, turned around, went to come back out. And all of a sudden, I guess maybe my right rear tire started to drift off. And you can see I started to just slide sideways. And I uh, and I just slid basically sideways right off the road. Suspension's basically just like sitting on the ground. Oh, first rate stuck in the mud job right here. <laughs> Dug out a little bit off the front. And uh, got a big flatbed coming down here. I feel like an idiot. We'll see how this pans out, but over here over here on the back side i mean it's uh that's no bueno right there all right got a winch thinking this is the real deal 956 miles on this thing i'm already beating it up should i get out of this thing is that cable gonna snap hopefully this windshield is bulletproof Let's stop that cable from snapping me in the face I'm not moving, am I? Oh, yeah. Was he just going to accelerate? I mean, I felt, I felt it move a couple of inches, maybe. All right, I guess I'll get back to digging over here. So, yeah, mud's up to the top of the tires. You can see it moved it forward about maybe six inches or so. There's so much mud there, it would have to lift it up out of. All right, my guy's gonna try to reverse through here, not fall into that water pond, push over some of those small trees and get back there and try to pull me out the way that I came in here. And Mr. John, my neighbor, is just a beast sitting over here digging. This guy's incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he just blasted through here. I could not get my camera up fast enough. That was epic. Dude, I know. He came flying by just flinging mud. He's just crazy enough. Yeah. He's got one of those like maniac smiles on his face about this. I'm thinking this one's gonna work. Is it running? I left it running? Okay, yeah. Just go ahead and throw it in neutral then. Oh, my precious clean floors. I know it was me. It was me. No, it was me. Right when I bought this truck, Luke uh, Luke drove it back with me, and he said, "You gotta, you gotta just go drive it through the mud right away." Sure, get it back. Down. If you don't go drive it through the mud, then you're gonna baby it forever. Yeah. Well, we way worse than a truck is a human. So let's get. Yeah. Let's. Because then your wife kill Aaron, and then well, I'd have to deal with Aaron's wife. And, you I don't, know, I don't react as fast as you guys do. So. Well, sure. All right, good cinematography now, Adam. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Steady can. I'm gonna, why don't you why don't you worry about getting your truck out, you goof? Hold hands and keep your finger from in front of the lens. It's it it's down. Is it running? It's running. This is goof. I don't know what to you post this to YouTube or what. I was fixed to say, is this gonna, gonna have to show me how to get into YouTube? What am I doing? Smoking that tire? Yeah. There's a rock down there. He's gonna pull you out. Everything's gonna be so great. Yeah, they're spinning. He's gonna take a run out. <laughs> I'm glad this is funny to y'all. I'm glad this is funny. <laughs> so the the wheel is basically just in a hole. Uh, that I think that is one of our big problems. Not to mention the body is basically just laying against the ground. So it's uh it's not moving, man. <laughs> Aaron, how did you get over here? It's dude, so, just so this dude, in order to get to the other side and not get stuck in the mud here, just comes flying through here at like 30 miles an hour. <laughs> I just so thought he was going to slide into the back corner of the truck. Dude, I don't know how he's going to get out now without getting stuck himself. He's going to have to go down and turn around in the field and come back. But if he jets that again, and I don't know what happens if he wrecks my truck. Do I get a new truck? <laughs> oh, brother. Dang, I feel like a dummy. Just for reference, this is how far I am from concrete. Not that bad. I almost made it. Almost made it. 
this, you know, residential road here. Residential road. Got a whole fleet of people showing up with opinions and muscles trying to help me out. But I could not for the life of me make it through there without sliding off. He should be able to turn around out there. But what I'm afraid of is him plowing right through here. Yep, and something sliding. Yeah, because that's exactly what happened. But I'm going to stand back here and get it on film. Yeah, don't let him smash you into that. I hear him coming. He's gaining speed. Please don't hit my truck. 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 Don't hit my truck. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is too funny. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> Try to pull him out. No, I can't do it. He's We're just going to pile up the white trucks down there and call it a day. No, I don't think you can pull him out. I can't. He'll hit your truck. Yeah, that's right. Because it'll, it'll pull. Yep. It'll pull right over. Can we get an A-10 Thunderbolt in here and just blow this up? Just get new trucks. <laughs> he pulled up. He pulled up and slammed on his brakes right there. Why? <laughs> he didn't want to hit mine. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna get drunk tonight. <laughs> I think I know drunk. why he couldn't get you out. <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk right now. <laughs> now he's yelling at me, saying it's my fault. <laughs> Is he for real mad at me? I don't know. You better go gently. Uh, my fault. I can't tell if this dude is uh, is for real mad or joking mad. <laughs> All right, what do we do? Good idea, John. Let's winch out. Yeah, that front tire is not spinning. You're right. He does have the brakes on. Yeah, you got the front brakes on. The brakes on. The tires are just dragging. Oh, it's in park. <laughs> it's in park. Yeah. Can we get some smart people out here to figure this out? It's still sliding. The back one's rolling, but this one's sliding. That's weird. I was afraid that was you pulling up. Yeah. Like, just what I need more attention for my idiocy. All right, so we called Ford. They are sending out another truck, a bigger truck, a commercial wrecker to come pull these bad boys out. 677. He said, he said, walk it out, because if it's more than 100 feet, you're paying for it. What number was I at? 76? 77? Yeah. 78? 79? 80? 81? 82? Yes! 85. 6? 87? 88? 90. 90 feet. 90, 90 feet. 18,000 pounds of muscle coming at you. Oh, yeah. You see that? It's good and stuck. It's a brand new truck, too. It's got 900 miles on it. But I'm less concerned about the body damage and more concerned about getting it out. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I get the feeling she's about to claim another truck. <laughs> he said, I'm not leaving the concrete. Now he's leaving the concrete. These guys are serious. His first words were, I'm not leaving the concrete. What he said, I guess, he backed it down. And I guess there's a way he can dig in. He said something about, something about that. And then there's a snatch block. So basically you put it on the back corner. And so it angles, the winch will angle in and it'll pull the truck up that way. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Probably jacking up the front end of that, but at least he's getting it out. Yes. Yeah, baby. Woo. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> right equipment, right knowledge. Yeah. Let's see how much. Still not all the way out. Yeah. I just want to see how much damage is over uh, here. Let, let us finish pulling out. Oh yeah. We'll, sorry. Let me, uh, we'll get it up here. Okay. And you can get a damage assessment at that point. Yeah. Sorry. Plus, I still got to do after photos and all that stuff. Yeah. It's way better than I thought. I thought it was gonna end up like just punching the bumper in or something, but no. Well, truly, the only time put chains up underneath. Yeah. And grab from the frame. Those are just bolt-ins to the frame. Okay. As dug as you were, that yeah. whole front end was buried. Yeah. Man, you might be lucky. Dang, man. Good. Just take that up. I'll, I'll jump in on it forward. All right. Oh, all right. 
I get out of your way. It left quite a hole over there. Let me give you a little piece of advice. Yeah. You said you don't live far from here. Yeah. I take it real slow and real easy. Yeah. Go into the house. Yep. And if you got a pressure washer. Yeah, I do. You better get out all out of them hooves. Yeah. Because if not, that's going to throw your tires completely off balance. Okay. I'd get it all underneath and everything. Okay. I'll feel it on the highway if you ever get speed. Yeah, for sure. You will. I'm telling you. And it'll, it'll mess your tires and rims up bad. Yeah. Dang, it doesn't look that bad. Like I said, I take it real slow and easy when yeah, you yeah. the house. You think so? Yeah. I was expecting a ton of damage. Probably a little scuffs and scrapes. But yeah, no. that's not bad at all. Just the way it was buried in, I was... Yeah, right here is I was a little what my concerned. big concern was, and you can see how deep you were. Because yeah. This was all buried. This is ground level here. Yeah, yeah. So. Golly. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You, you're going to need some wash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see why I was so stuck. Well, you had a differential. Yep. yep. <sighs> yeah, dang, that was buried. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see how we get this dude out. Dang. <laughs> Look at the size of that hole. Yeah, look at this one. Oh my goodness. That is not coming across on the camera at all. No, it's not. That's insane. See that straight line right there? Yeah. That's your baseboard. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that was... Fine job gets the fine job. That was excellent. Well, hey, I try. That's exactly right. That's my style. Go big or go home. Just straight bury those wheels. That is ridiculous. Trying to get some sort of perspective on that. All right, how do we help this dude? You got snag him up. Now we got the uh, the new wrecker trying to help out the old wrecker. Old wrecker doesn't seem to have the tools. He's gonna try to winch himself back off this tree to pull back, and then I guess hit this gap as fast as he can <laughs> to slide through, and hopefully not fall off the same thing I did. He's straight giving him lessons. All right, if y'all are in Dallas, call this man Bobby at Toe and Go. He knows what's up. Meanwhile, that other dude is <laughs> is stuck in the mud. I felt bad. Uh, these other guys, they uh, they called their managers, and their managers called his managers, and they told him to just uh, stay there. <laughs> They're sending out a big truck to get him and his supervisor. I feel so terrible, but I don't think that guy really knew what he was doing. Yikes! <laughs> See that black truck back there? <laughs> He was, he was laughing, he was like, yeah. He saw the wrecker in front of me and he saw all the mud on the other side of my truck. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, but I'm gonna put this on the internet anyway. Clean as a whistle, uh, except for, yeah, I need to go take a shower. <laughs> what a stinking day. Bye.